What's up? This is Mel from Mel Booker Music, and today we're going to talk about horn players. everybody mel from mel booker music here hey uh i've been um wanting to talk about this for a while and i forgot so we'll do it now uh now it's quiet in my house everybody's sleeping so i'm gonna stay up and talk to you guys so um uh, here recently i've been on these different forums with people talking about um what exactly is blues or blues is not this or blues is not that and it came up that I'm noticing that, uh, I don't know if you call them blues purists or what you would say, but um, um, they tend to think that if someone plays blues on a saxophone or a bass clarinet or a trumpet, well then that's not blues, that's jazz, I guess, and it doesn't qualify. But in my thinking, blues has always been birthed out of emotion. Everybody hears it differently everybody feels it differently and thus when it comes out of your instrument it's going to come out differently so um, you know in my mind the labels don't really make sense because it's going to be approached differently by the hearer by the listener um, so you can't say what it is and what it isn't but I did notice a lot of times that guys will say uh, well that's jazz well, I guess technically, if you want to put a label on it, um, if you take that 12-bar blues and you, you add some detours to it, then I guess you could call it jazz, because jazz guys tend to do that more than, than um, I guess, regular guitar players would with 12-bar blues or something like that with some distortion and, and uh, um, more electric guitars versus hollow bodies or something like that. But um, what, I, what I did for a long time is I went and searched out um, horn players uh, namely Coltrane, Miles, uh, and Roland Kirk, and Eric Dolphy were the main ones. And I started trying to incorporate some of that into my playing uh, because you don't get always the linear line. Sometimes you, you get um, uh, chord tones a lot more from the horn guys than scale degrees, which would come a lot of times from, from us people who play stringed instruments. So um, I, I took that and I added it to my playing. So you guys are going to see some clips. I'm doing a run through of some stuff that I'm working on. But I mixed kind of the blues rock thing with this more horn like approach where you're not only playing scale degrees, but you're playing chord tones. And this is not a theory lesson, so we won't go on into that. But you guys that, that, that listen to horn players, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I said all that to say this. Don't let anyone tell you what blues is or what jazz is or whatever. Uh, you guys have seen the quote that I put up from Miles Davis talking about um, um, players getting stuck. Um, and Miles always took the, the, the jazz label and changed it and pushed it to some new thing. And, of course, people got mad about that. But you, you have to do that. I think it, us as musicians, especially if you're creative, you don't want to pick up something. At least I don't. I don't want to pick up some music that was given to me by my forefathers um, and then just leave it where they gave it to me. So I want to pick it up and carry it to some other different place so whoever comes after me can pick it up there and carry it to another place. So anyway, there you go. That's Monk and John Coltrane. I have other stuff too, but I forgot to bring them, so I'm just showing you all this one. So. Um, uh, you guys can listen to me do a couple of playthroughs, a couple of run-throughs on some stuff I'm working on, and I'm going to blend some of these horn-type lines with uh, blues rock stuff. So enjoy, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks. <laughs>